Welcome back to Take a Seat. This is the number one channel for mindset and motivation. I came from McDonald's to making it to millions, but I get it. Business might not be your thing, which is why I started this podcast. I bring on loads of celebrities, sports stars, music artists, because maybe their journey might resonate with you. And today's no different. We've brought a pioneering music artist on. He's been on our screens for over two decades. He started with Jay Sean and Rishi Rich and done many different remixes with Craig David. He's also been on the Bollywood scenes as well with Humtum. So please welcome Juggy D. What's happening, man? What's How happening, bro? Sean, very well. Thank you for having me. Looking very cool, bro. <laughs> Thank you. It's, uh, finally, we get some good weather in the UK. So, yes, um, yes, yes, you know, yes. I thought I'd, uh, I'd wear my two-piece today. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be here, man. Thanks for asking me to come on and uh, share my experience of life and come hopefully on. yeah like you said hopefully it can resonate with some people and maybe give them some inspiration along their journey definitely because you definitely inspire me i Thank remember you. back in uh, 2004 when i'm driving down in my little ka mm. I'm blasting your tunes out oh, bro. wicked man Thank <laughs> even you. my gora friends bro wicked. they knew your wicked. song sony like oh. sony it's, you know <laughs> it's, it's mad thank you man i appreciate that this um sony has been um 20 years now since that album came out Come on. and um you know exactly two decades we're celebrating this year and um you know i i still remember going back channel u mm. um mtv yes. they were supporting our music man and mainstream um radio was playing our stuff and um i remember you know um channel u i don't know if you remember channel u um it's going back it's probably a bit, little bit before <laughs> your time but channel u they used to have uh, you could text in and the text would come at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. And I used to watch it and I used to be looking at it. And it, sometimes he'd say, yeah, this Juggy guy, I don't know what he's saying, but I'm loving it, man. And, uh, you know, so you're right. It did resonate with with non-Indians and Gore, 100. Uh, white people and black people. And we got a lot of love from them, man. And uh, still do. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I would definitely, you know, resonate with all of that because one of my friend, best friends was a Gora. Mm white guy yeah. um, and another one was like a European who lived on the road mm. and I used to have this little KA with a little hatchback yeah. the biggest subwoofer in there Yeah. but the biggest <laughs> thing is it changed your whole song because it picked up on all of your beats Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you know that subwoofer beat of yeah, Sony yeah. everyone was just like I, I need that song oh, even wicked. though they couldn't understand what you were yeah, saying yeah, yeah. that beat the flow of it, mm. it it just changed it bro. Where, oh, wicked, man. Who, who composed that beat that was um, so that was uh, produced by Mentor who is um, um, cousin, um, Rishi Rich's cousin, and um, a big producer in his own right. You know, he was massive in, uh, in um, uh, Tanzania and, and Africa. Okay. Um, made some mad music out there. Um, still um, does some stuff now, but he heavily produced my first album, man. Um, so yeah, big um, hats off to him. And, um, you know, I'm still getting booked. I'm still getting booked today. Mm -hmm. um, off that same album in in the whole look i started in um 2002 and uh i've been in the music industry for 22 years now and i've only done two studio albums wow. and my second album i don't actually even perform any other songs off it wow i only perform mainly off the first album then the other singles that i've done and the bollywood tracks that i've done um unfortunately um phone's still going yeah so. How does it work as a music artist in terms of producing your sort of music? Because a lot of stars, they'll have that one big hit mm. and then they're known for that one big hit. And yeah. when they come on a show, you're all waiting for that one big hit. Yeah, yeah. How do you keep like reinventing yourself and making um, sure, like not making sure, but how do you keep making the rest of your music just as relevant or trying to find the next chart topper? Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I guess, I guess you know, like they say in, the, in our industry, you're only good as, as good as your last record. You know, so you've got to... Mm. Um, you've got to work hard on trying to, you know, just put out good music. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when we first started out, every record we put out was a vibe, mm -hmm. you know, and people enjoyed it. So I can, I can, you know, I've got a catalog of songs where I know, okay, these are the songs that I'm going to play in my set, you know, and they will, they will take you down memory lane, yeah, you know, yeah. nostalgic songs, Dance With You, Sonia, Billo, yeah, Humdum, yeah, yeah. Neijina, you know, and the the list goes on, yeah. right? And then I will put in like cover tracks. I'll do covers as well, um, and that like 
Here, I do like a 40 minute set, 45 minute set if I'm doing a wedding or something. Mm. But in India, I've got to do 90 minutes. 